Plant Lady Marlene Simon joins us live in uh, Woodland where she's taking a look at the plants. Yes, so we are in Winters, and this is Gloria, and it was her grandfather who brought the seeds over from uh, 1920. I was corrected. Yes, I know you're not that old. So um, he brought them over from Spain, and you guys have been growing them from seed since then, right? And so you start with a seed pepper, right? And then right over here is your, is your pepper. Right here, right? Yep. So what would that normally look like when you pick it? Uh, it would be a larger, but you want to look for a nice straight pepper, full, and it would be red, but we, it's, uh, they're not quite mature enough right, yeah, right now. Okay, so your husband's going to cut this open to show what you harvest. And we're going to look. So after you were to pick it and harvest it, then you dry it on a paper plate. It's on a paper plate. I put it uh, away. I collect them periodically through uh, uh, the summer. I put them on a paper plate somewhere around Thanksgiving. I will put them in a... Um, plastic bag and then um, so technical I know <laughs> uh, my father used to put them in jars and then I would uh, around February 1st I get a little peat pot right here I'm gonna show the peat pot for people who don't know this is a peat pot so this disintegrates when you plant it so you're minimizing the need to transplanting and disturbing the root system so how many seeds do you put in here I put I make three little holes with my fingers I put three seeds hoping that three seeds germinate and um, I have good germination rate, and I just wait, and I have them in my little greenhouse, and I water them, and uh, wait. They're they're very. They take a long time to germinate. Probably up to three weeks sometimes. Yeah, and I see, think that people plant their peppers way too early because if we get a frost or it's cold, they will just sit there. So you said you generally do not plant your peppers before when? Usually not until about the first of May. This year was unusual, and I planted them middle of April. So. Yeah, it was it was pretty warm. And I know I want to show you brought this beautiful food out, and um, I'm going to eat it in a little bit. But this is part of your your Spanish culture. Just go real quick. We just have a little bit of time. Go through right here. There are a lot of Spanish uh, families still uh, maintain some of our traditions. We make our own chorizo. We do like to eat uh, um, manchego cheese, and uh, some of us still cure our own jamón serrano. Well, I like to eat all that, so I will. But this is what it looks like right there. So uh, 1920, brought over from Spain. She's going to keep it going, and I'm on the list to get some of these seats. All so right. I hope I actually could do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone can, it's going to be you, Marlene. You Thanks, Don't Marlene. give them to me. I will kill them. <laughs>